Hi, my name is Dana Reason. I'm currently teaching several popular music classes at OSU and also teaching a music in the movies class and soon to be teaching a world music class as well. When I first came up to OSU, um, I'd come up from San Diego came into town and I thought, oh, I really want to be part of the university culture here. And I originally, my first job was to teach class piano and I had a great time last year. I met, met so many wonderful students because the class piano, people from all disciplines can take the class. So it was wonderful. I had like the scientists in there. I had a lot of grad students in there as well. I had the first term freshman in there that was still trying to get their bearings on what to do at school. And I really enjoyed working with the students because I felt like I could influence them in certain ways and be there as a, a kind of a guide for them if they had questions. And I'm always interested in what the student's doing beyond my classroom. That matters to me. I trained heavily as a classical pianist. Um, and I went through the Toronto Conservatory in Canada and I thought I was going to be a, you know, a classical concert artist. That's what I had in mind. Uh, however, life is very interesting and I ended up at the, the school in Michigan called the Interlochen Arts Academy and there that's where I was exposed to so many other kinds of music. That's where I started writing 20th century, what you would consider 20th century art music. So if you went to New York City and you went to the Museum of Modern Art and you saw a big painting on the wall, that was the kind of music, if you can imagine what that sounds like, that was the kind of music that was interesting to me. And it was really kind of a philosophical kind of music because I like those kinds of questions. So I got exposed to that. I started getting exposed to jazz. I started studying jazz piano. And not that I ended up having a rich history of studying jazz piano. It kind of was like dotted and speckles in there. And so in a certain way, I kind of taught myself how to put those sounds together in terms of jazz music. And I like that. I mean, I, I feel like I really understand the classical genre very well. And I'm kind of glad that I had to kind of teach myself and fumble my way through and make lots of mistakes in jazz in hopes that I create something different and I can have kind of a world that intersects with all that classical uh, repertoire, which I love deeply. Um, and I have all that wonderful, rich um, technique you know, wired in my body at some level. Um, so I love that how these can come together. I've been really lucky to meet some of the very, very talented staff and faculty at the music department in particular. Um, these people are fantastic artists and in particular I've been working um, and getting to know Michael Kulin, Professor Michael Kulin, and he's got a very rich history himself and I think that uh, with his help, it, you know, he's kind of, we've had lots of discussions and it's in, um, inspired me. For example, I decided that, hey, you know, we don't have a class on the Beatles. And I would love to present the Beatles to, to this class because, to the school, because it's a, it's a music that belongs to all generations. And what's so wonderful about this class is I have students come in and they say, you know, my mom and dad have the record collection and I used to listen to it growing up and now it's kind of my chance to connect with them. So I feel like it's an intergenerational class. I'm sure that when the students go home for like the breaks, they're talking about the Beatles. And this matters to me that school kind of lives outside of like a classroom context. It's alive. Thank you.